Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Kentucky home. It's Papa John. <clears throat> Wanda, as the title reads, I want to do a review, a uh, one year review on my Husqvarna 562 XP. Um, this is, needless to say, become my go to saw. Uh, I was using my John's Red. 50 cc saw for quite a few years for bucking most of my firewood and I jumped up a little over a year ago to this 562 XP. This is a uh, this is a professional grade saw. It's um, ex extremely lightweight for for mid-size, I guess you would say for a professional saw, mid-size uh, CC saw. Um, they are uh, extremely, extremely high RPM and cut really well. As, as a matter of fact, in a few minutes, we're going to, um, we're going to get some gear on and we're going to make a few cuts with the 562. We're going to make a few cuts with the holes form of 372 and with the holes form of 395. Now, in, in all fairness, the, the 372 has had some very minor port work, base gasket delete, and a dual port muffler. The 395 has had a base gasket delete polish the exhaust a little bit, that's it, no real porting, and a dual port muffler. And we'll just, we'll just kind of see how they compare. I, I don't expect this 562 is going to keep up with either of these saws. Now, the, th the 372 is broken pretty well. The 395 only has about, about a tank, tank and a half of gas um, since since it was put together um and we'll uh we'll take a quick comparison of those but this saw it is a auto tune saw which is for some of you uh, are not familiar with Husqvarna's uh newer xp series saws this auto tune um is basically there's no adjusting the carburetor as a computer that operates the carburetor and senses the barometric pressure and the temperature and humidity and all that and it adjusts your saw what you what you typically do if the weather has changed since you've used the saw is you fire the saw up let it warm up good and you take the tip of the bar and uh, you put it long ways if you will uh, with the grain in the wood and and just put the tip of the bar in the wood and drag it across it a few times wide open and it adjusts the carburetor and and you're all done no no having to adjust carburetor for altitudes or temperature humidity makes it very handy i've had zero zero problems with this saw all i've done is put fuel and oil in it and run it and it's in the last year it's last year it cut a lot of firewood um, so i like the new design the, the new caps uh, fuel caps that um, husqvarna is using the flip style cap yet they still they still screw on and have the rubber o-ring seal in them so you don't have to worry about them leaking. I know some other uh, brands, manufacturers uh, with their flip style caps have had problems with them leaking. Zero problems with this saw. Um, it, uh, I'll, uh, I'll post the, the weights uh, in comparison to these saws uh, up here in the corner. And, um, 
it, it's it's a real pleasure to run. It's it's got quite a, a compared to the the three series saws like the three seventy twos and those. Uh, the the anti vibration is fantastic. You can run this saw for a long time and not get arm weary. Um, like I said, it's it's a it's a logger professional style saw. Um, very smooth to run. It has a very robust brake handle, um, which is which is nice. Um, some of some of the older saws they were they were a little chintzy and they they only wrapped down one side and and actually didn't have a fastener on the other side and they felt kind of chintzy and you could break them. These not so much. Um, I do not have a full wrap. Handle on this saw, although I do use this saw for, uh, I have used it on, on, oh, I can think of a, two big trees, so 36 inch in diameter and, and larger with, with a 20 inch bar, 24 inch bar, and no problems at all felling trees with it. Uh, it's, it's pretty handy to, uh, handle like i said because of the weight but uh well let's take it and we'll do a little comparison and then we'll come back and uh, see what you think Okay, we're back in the shop on the bench here. <clears throat> the 562 weighs 
12.6 pounds. The 372 weighs 14.6 pounds. The 395 weighs 17.4 pounds. And that's just the power head units themselves. That's not without the bars and chains. So as you can tell, there's from the 562 up to the 395, there's basically five pounds difference. <clears throat> Doesn't sound like much, but when, you, when you're holding it up, you know, for an hour at a time, sawing or longer or all day long if you're a logger, that, that makes a big difference. Um, five pounds overall. This, this uh, chain wasn't quite as sharp as, as I thought it should be, but not, not horrible. So, um, overall just smooth smooth to run i was real i was real um impressed with how my 395 ran uh, i've only run it just a little while um since i since i did the base gasket delete and and put the ported muffler on it um the thing is just a wood hog but it is heavy um overall if uh, I, I'll tell you, um, for what I do, I'm not a logger, for what I do, for the trees I have to cut, for the, the wood I have to cut, the whole form of big saws for the bigger bucking and stuff, for me, work fantastic. If Holes Forma made a 60cc saw similar um, to the 372 or 395 or, or, or like a 365 or something versus the 562, the 60cc saw. Would I buy it and use it? Uh, absolutely. The 562, I love this saw and I'll, I'll probably never ever part with this saw because of how, how friendly and how smooth it is to run. Um, but the reason I say that, and I, I've said this in other videos, this Husqvarna saw, um, I can buy the holes formas and do the upgrades on them, um, such as putting the momentary shutoff switches, the ported mufflers, do the base gasket delete, put the big bore kit in the 372, the 372 and the 395. Um, I can I can buy those two big saws for what the price of this saw was. Um, would I try one and play with one if if they had one similar to that? Absolutely. Um, but this thing is built to last for years and years and years. And would I recommend it to anybody? Absolutely. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on a 550 XP Mark II one of these days here and, and run that because that's even a, a pound or so lighter than, than this saw. It's supposed to have good high end torque as well. Um, I, I love these Husqvarna saws, the John's red saws, even the knockoff Husqvarna saws um, for what I do. They run great. You take care of them, keep them clean and you'll get a lot of years. I, I would imagine, um, someday, hopefully, one of my grandsons will get this Husqvarna 562 and and use it. And uh, I'd say sons, but I all I have is daughters. <laughs> so hopefully, one of my grandsons will get a hold of it and run it for a whole lot of years. But uh, I kind of enjoyed comparing how the the three cut. You could definitely tell the difference. And um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments below and, and uh, we'd be happy to share any knowledge or anything we can with you about, about these saws, especially about this 562. 
the more I run this saw, the more I love it too, because just, just the weight and the way it feels. But uh, we'll be doing a lot more videos. Uh, I've got some port work we're going to be doing and some other stuff on saws and uh, some upgrades. Um, stay tuned to the channel. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Subscribe and, and hit that like button. Um, hit the notification button so you get notified when, when we post more videos here at our Kentucky home. Until next time, God bless.